Bravo just wouldn't be Bravo without the housewives. And now the staple is glittering in gold as it goes international. New group dynamics threaten old relationships, making one thing clear. If you can't handle the heat, get out of Dubai. Take a look. Anything is possible in Dubai. It's a land of opportunity. There's a lot of gold here, and we have a lot of gold diggers too. <laughs> Oops. He wants my spotlight. It's fine. I can share. When it's time to deliver, be prompt up. In Dubai, the women are far from submissive. Mm. Most of the women are running this town. Yeah, yeah, I need my money pronto. Yeah. So as a housewife fan, I have so many questions about this <laughs> franchise. I'm so excited. So first, can you set up for me what life is like for a housewife in Dubai? Well, to be honest, I don't think life in Dubai is much different to life in the U.S. I grew up in Miami, and although I'm in a much hotter climate, because I thought Miami was hot, but I'm talking like 120 in the summer, right? So yeah. besides the heat, um, a housewife in America is just the same as a housewife in Dubai. You know, we look after our kids, we look after our husbands, <laughs> we take care of our businesses, we do all of the above. <laughs> okay, so were you a fan or are you a fan of any of the other franchises? Ups, listen, I am a Bravo holic. Is that even okay. a word? <laughs> yes. I'm a Bravo holic. I've always been a huge fan of the show. Um, I love Atlanta. I love Beverly Hills. I love New Jersey. Yeah, no, I, I think I've seen them all. Like every okay. season, every episode. So we're together. I mean, this is the first international iteration of the franchise. Just the preview alone is like dripping with glitter and wealth, and it's just so captivating. So yeah. <laughs> what what else is it about Dubai, other than the heat, that makes it the perfect setting? Well, you know what? To be honest, Dubai in itself is such a diverse city, and everybody mixes and mingles, and we shop, and we party, and we do all of the above. Like, I think a misconception of Dubai is that women... We're, we're more modest, we're conservative. And I feel, to be honest, we're not. You know, we get to be whoever we want. We're able to be as liberal as we want or as conservative. It's our choice. And we love each other-ish sometimes. So I imagine there would be a lot more rules shooting this in Dubai. And correct me if I'm wrong, but did you have to hold back in any way because of the location? I imagine that flipping tables is probably socially not acceptable. <laughs> I didn't have to hold back to answer your question. I was exactly who I've always been. Um, and that's fabulous. You know, I don't go flipping tables and, you know, kudos to you if you do, but I have other ways to check a girl if I need to. Okay. <laughs> now you are a former Miss Jamaica winner. You've done reality yeah. TV before. So what comes more naturally competing for a title or filming a reality show? Oh, that's a good question. To be honest, I'm naturally competitive. I feel like this is why I ended up with boys because I am like that soccer mom on the field, like, go, get yeah. it, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm naturally really competitive. So I think pageantry comes more natural to me than reality TV. But honestly, kudos and hats off to all the Real Housewives sisters. I mean, it's, it's an amazing, amazing job. I can't wait to see this whole season. You can catch the Real Housewives of Dubai series premiere tonight at nine. Thanks so much, Lisa.